Hello, welcome to a new episode of the Fat Vegan Chef. Today I'm going to be making my version of Thai curry. You can use this recipe as a starting point for your curry. You can change the veggies, protein, curry paste, and other ingredients if you want. You can add cashews, remove the potato, it doesn't matter, make it yours. As a side note, this recipe was originally meant to be made when I was in Spain, but some of the same, some of the main parts sadly did not get recorded. You will see a guest appearance by my friend that I visited while I was there. Be sure to say hi to her. I will be editing in some of the footage that was recorded, so the continuity may be off just a bit. You can get the recipe at thefatvegetchef.com. If you like this recipe and what we do, please share it with your friends and family on your favorite social media sites and donate a dollar or two at tfvc.org forward slash donate. The tools that you'll need to make this dish are a cutting board with a damp towel underneath, measuring cups and measuring spoons, a good wooden spatula for your wok, a rubber spatula, a knife, some kitchen shears, another spoon, can opener. You'll need a wok or something that is thick and heavy um, that will take an enormous amount of heat. Something to put our ingredients in as we cook them and a stock pot with a lid. Now that you know what tools you'll need, let me go ahead and go over the ingredients. And again, these are all interchangeable. You can use whatever ingredients you want and whatever amounts that you want depending upon your taste and what's available. For this edition, I'm using a brick of firm or extra firm tofu. I have frozen this, thawed it, and squeezed out all of the water and it gives it a meaty texture. This is some frozen Asian vegetables that I bought at the grocery store. Watercress. Portobello mushrooms, this is two of them. Shiitake mushrooms, this is about five or six. A couple of Japanese eggplant. A uh, package of snow peas. This is three red potatoes that I have boiled and diced. Now for the uh, flavoring, I have about a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, a teaspoon of grains of paradise, a tablespoon of Szechuan peppercorns. This is a couple tablespoons of garlic, a tablespoon of ground ginger, and a couple of tablespoons of toasted sesame oil and red chili oil. And you'll probably need a little bit more of this as we uh, go through and saute the vegetables. And this is two cups of jasmine rice that I've soaked for 20 minutes. And then what I'm going to do with this is I am going to put it in four cups of water, or four cups of water, bring it to a boil. Once it's up to a boil, I'm going to take the heat down to a simmer and let it sit in that water for 20 minutes. And you can also use basmati rice. Jasmine and basmati rice give a really good flavor. So now that we've got the ingredients, let's go ahead and talk about the sauce. I also wanted to mention to you that it's very important to get all of your ingredients gathered and prepped first because this cooks really fast. You're going to cook the ingredients on a really high heat and you don't really have time to prep the vegetables in between. Alright, let's go ahead and talk about the sauce. This is a curry paste and I happen to be using Penang curry paste. You can use Masaman or whatever you want. However, it's very important that you read the ingredients because a lot of the curry paste do put in fish sauce. This brand happen to, happens to be Mei Anang, Mei Anang, and it does not have any fish sauce in it. So read the ingredients. This is just a can of coconut milk, or you can use coconut cream, crunchy peanut butter, a couple tablespoons of soy sauce. This is a tablespoon of mushroom soy sauce. 
This is a tablespoon of rooster sauce, a teaspoon of chili paste. This is a tablespoon of vegetarian or vegan fish sauce. You can either make your own or you can also find this at the Asian markets. This is the one that I happened to pick up. It is, I can't pronounce the name, but that's what the bottle looks like and it is vegetarian fish sauce. It's made out of fermented soybeans and seaweed. So if you want to make your own, I suppose we can do is take some water, some fermented soybean paste, and some uh, seaweed, and let that sit for a couple weeks in your refrigerator, and you'll probably have a pretty close approximation to fish sauce. I think really all you need is the seaweed. And then I'm going to finish this off with some um, julienne basil. I'm going to throw this in towards the end when I put in the rest of the ingredients to let it cook. Uh, so then that way it doesn't overcook the uh, basil. And so let's go ahead and get the sauce ready. First thing I like to do is I like to put in the ingredients that are hard to mix in first. So that's the peanut butter and that is the uh, curry paste. And then I'll put in the soy sauce and the mushroom sauce and the fish sauce and then I'll just kind of start to break this up until it comes into a paste and I'll make a mess in the process. Hello everybody, welcome to a new episode of the FatVeganChef.com and today we present Jared Peacock, the chef, preparing a new recipe in my <clears throat> kitchen in Alicante, Spain. What part of Alicante, Spain? Moraira. Beautiful Moraira. What are you going to cook today, Jared? Well, I figured that since we're in Spain, I would do what Spaniards do, and I would cook Thai food. <laughs> so I'm gonna cook <coughs> some, some uh, of my version of Thai curry. Uh-huh. And right now I'm just preparing the vegetables to get ready to saute. Mm -hmm. I've got the rice going already. Okay. And I've got some tofu that I've frozen and then I've thawed. And right now it's in the sink being pushed together to get all the water out of the, <coughs> out of the tofu. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm doing. <coughs> Excuse me, I have a cold. That's, that's what I'm good. doing right now. Good. Add in our chili sauce. rooster sauce, get that incorporated. Now I'll add my coconut milk. And get this mixed in well. Now that I have this well mixed, We'll go ahead and make our curry. So I'll see you at the stove. Come on. All right, I've got my wok on my stove. I'm getting it nice and hot. It should be very, very hot, like on high or medium high. We want to get this um, to where it's like almost smoking like it is now. So now that it's almost smoking, I'm going to go ahead and add my oils I'm going to add my tofu I'm 
red pepper flakes, Szechuan peppercorn, and green paradise. As you can see, the tofu is starting to get brown. And I just wanted to mention that the reason why I added those ingredients to the tofu is since the tofu doesn't really have that much flavor, I added it to the tofu to kind of help get that flavor absorbed into it. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my garlic and my ginger. And I'm going to continue to saute this some more. The tofu is pretty much done now. I'm going to go ahead and put this in my pan here and set, the, set it aside. Now I'll go ahead and add just a little bit more oil. And I'm going to go ahead and cook the mushrooms. And the eggplant. You don't want to put too many, you want to kind of do this just a little bit at a time. You don't want too many vegetables in there at once. So you want to actually walk this. We'll go ahead and cook these. And we're going to repeat this until all the rest of the vegetables are cooked. All the vegetables cooked off. Now I'm going to go ahead and cook the sauce. This is the sauce that we made earlier. And I'm going to bring this up to a boil. Our sauce is now boiling. One thing that I forgot to mention as far as ingredients go is we do need to thicken the sauce a bit. And this is a mixture of cornstarch and water. And, well, you, and you want to use cold water for this. And what you'll do is you'll slowly add in your cornstarch mixture until it becomes a thickened sauce. Just add it in until it seems right. And this happened to be one tablespoon of cornstarch. That's looking good. All right, it's boiling. And you may want to adjust your heat down a bit once it does start boiling and thickening up. So now we'll go ahead and add our the vegetables and our protein into the sauce. And now what I'll do is I'll finish it with the water press and the basil. Give that a good stir. And now I'll go ahead and plate. So I'll see you back over at the counter. We've got our curry made. We've got our rice ready. Let's go ahead and get this plated. And you can either serve this on top or beside. And that way people can adjust how much rice they want with their curry.
And if you want to, you can garnish this with some basil flowers if you have them available. And you can use either regular basil or Thai basil, um, depending upon how available they are for you and how you can find them. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. You can find this recipe and more at thefatveganchef.com. I hope that cutting between this and my friend and I making it in Spain didn't confuse you too much. Please consider donating to me to help me go keep going at tfvc.org forward slash donate. You can find us at your favorite social media site by searching for The Fat Vegan Chef. Go ahead and find us and follow us and share us with your friends and family. And I hope you have a great day. Well, 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 look what we have there. Mmm, looks very good and tastes very good too. La media, media me coloca bien al ayuntamiento, a la cenita, pues claro, yo sé a dónde está el ayuntamiento. Ay, la media. Ay, pues yo quiero más. Poco de muy bueno. Dile que me eche más, yo quiero más. Del guiso. Now we need this chopsticks. Qué guay. Looks good? Looks good. Are you ready to eat? I'm very ready to eat. Let's eat. Let's eat now. Come on. <laughs>